What up, y'all, DC Fago guy? Time for the third swing of the pendulum. It comes with the CD single, 50 bucks. Let's take a look at the back. There's the third piece of the puzzle, which has the CD there. Once again, just like the front cover of the comic. Pretty cool that they did that. We'll go ahead and set that there. Jump into the comic where we left off at, which where we left off was Violent J and Shaggy were chilling in a hotel room watching Stranglemania with the stress team about to plant bombs and blow their asses up. So let's jump right into it. A new day dawns in Detroit. I got two sleepers. Hold one for radio check. Silo, check. Huck, yo. Johnny, ditto. Baker, confirm. We got company, civilian movement at four o'clock. We have contact in three, two, one. All right, babe, I love you. I'll be back around. <clears throat> This'll be easy, let's jam. Clear. Mr. Gray, we have confirmation on the Op 4. Permission to proceed with the extermination. Negative. We don't want to take any chances with these boys. Go to Phase 2. Prepare the explosives and wait for my command. Don't you just love this job? I think you enjoy it too much. Stay focused. Yes, sir. So back in the room then. We got him chilling and or sleeping, I should say, with the TV playing on the commercials. Shaggy wakes up. Commercial still playing. Oh fuck! Taking a piss in the plant. And a certain commercial comes on. Are you having problems with pesky assassins crawling around your home? Are professional killers ruining your day by constantly trying to end your life? No? Well, you better think again. They could be right outside your room placing explosives even as we speak. One can never be too cautious. If you're experiencing problems like this, you need to call us right away. That's Assassins Be Gone at 734-480-3910. Uh, call now before it's too late. Hey, numbnuts, we're talking to you, Dopey, and you, Jay. Wake the fuck up! Yeah, what the fuck? Hello, it's us, Jack and Jake. What does someone gotta do around here? Drop a piano on your heads to get your attention? You got trouble, guys, right outside your door. There's some... Nah, wait a minute, they don't want our help. Every time they get in trouble, who do they call? Malenko, or the Riddle Box, or the Ringmaster. Everybody but yours truly, Jack and Jake Jekyll. What, aren't we good enough for you? Don't worry about him. Listen, we're not supposed to be doing this, but why don't you go ahead and call us so we can pull your asses out of the fire, so to speak. I'm picking up something strange. I hear other voices. I don't think they're alone. Detonate now. I repeat now. Fall back to my position. We are out of here. Silo, Johnny, set explosives for 15 seconds. Huck, prepare for repel. Jake, you chump, I ought to slap the shit out of you. If we weren't brothers, I'd... Hey, Flameface, you mind telling us what's going on? There are some men, professional killers, right outside your door. You must leave here at once. I'm afraid the peanut is right. In, other, in another couple seconds, this whole place is going to be toast. Fuck that, ninja. Not if I have anything to do with it. There's no time for that. Hold on. <laughs> Booyah! Woo! We'll get off here. Not yet. <laughs> Jay. Oh, so they crash through another floor. And then. Yeah. 
You know what the fuck? What, Shaggy? Or Shags? I'm a little too fat to be doing all this running. It's time to start administering some beatdowns, wicked clown style. A short while later. Why are we chilling, Jay? I thought we had some necks to chop. Because, Ninja, we got we gots to see whose head is on the chopping block first. Give it time. Give it time and the ones who did this will be back. They got to make sure we're dead. Yo, watch this. No way I'd be going in there to rescue a motherfucker in a fire. She hit the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire and I don't give a fuck. Let the motherfucker burn. Ha ha. Clump. Clump. Ugh. Two hours later. Heads up, Ninja. The chicken necks are back. Ah, hell. Mr. Gray, how are you? You have quite a situation here, Chief Brennan. Yes, but it's under control now. How many casualties? 14 dead, 24 wounded. That's too bad. Were the clowns among them? Ah, uh, you mean the ones who killed the mayor? Are there any other clowns worth talking about? Well, no. All the bodies checked out as hotel guests or employees. Why would you think the clowns were here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Wrong voice. Sorry, guys. You should learn not to ask too many questions, Chief, before people start asking you questions about your affairs. We wouldn't want that, would we? No. Good. Now see that you bring in the gang members who planted that bomb and bring a quick close to this case. So Mr. Gray is leaving now. Who the fuck are them Nazis? I don't know, but I'm going to shove their swastikas up their sphincters. Shit, why is he looking up here? Damn dog, Darth fucking Vader. Yeah, well, he's going to be dead Vader soon, Shags. I'll slap them cool Modi shades off his bitch ass head. That evening at the chief's house. You impotent shit. How dare you accuse me of lying around all day. I told you I got a migraine. You don't know how it feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care how you do it. When I come home, I expect the house to be clean and my dinner prepared. Got that, you fat bitch. How am I supposed to know when you are coming home? Or if you will come home at all? Always saying you got a special case and you got to work late. My ass you do. Don't think I don't know what you've been up to. I got eyes. I can smell the pussy. You ain't nothing but the very bottom filth like the criminals you say you bring to justice. You asshole. I hate you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sound effects. <laughs> so he's in the fridge now. Ah. What up, punk ass bitch? You sure take it a long way to give your wife that extra love and care. <gasps> there was no sound effects, but I had to add that. Hey, I kind of like your shitty style. Or you, I kind of like your style, shitty pants. How did you do it? Like this? Ooh. Nah, Shaggy, I think it was more like... Honey Pie, are you alright in there? Like this. It, it's okay, Mar Margie, just go back to bed. What's happening? Damn it, tell me this instant. If you hurt Virgil, I'll kill you. I love how her voice went from deep to very high. <laughs> <laughs> the police are eh. we came to ask you about the men in the black truck you were talking to earlier today I really like to stab people so tell me what I want to know anything J just don't hurt me again who are they they're called the stress team led by someone who calls himself Mr. Gray they work indirectly for our police department, but what they do and how they operate is unknown to me. 
who sent them after us. I don't know. Like I said, they don't take orders from me. Hey, piggy, it's time to play the piggy game. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. All right, all right, I'll tell you. His name is Kilnor. He sent the stress team to me about six months ago. They're bloodthirsty killers. Every one of them. And they scare the shit out of me. Kilnor said he was sending them to me to reduce our crime rate. But what they, what they did was start a fucking war in the streets. The crime rate is higher than ever before. There's nothing I can do. They'll dispose of me if I interfere. Where can we find your mellow? Who? Your boy, Kilnor. Somewhere in Arizona. I'm not sure where exactly. When I want to speak to Kilnor, I call Mr. Gray. Where can we find this gray bitch? I have a special number. I can write it down for you if you want. Do it. But she's like passed out. I'm not sure what happened to her there. So he's writing down the number. Huh? Get the fuck away from the window! I'm assuming that's what I'm like. Uh. No need to go to the party, Shaggy. The party came to us. <laughs> Shit, this ain't the kind of party I like, dog. All kinds of crashing and booming. It ain't a party without any bitches. There's plenty of bitches outside, just not the soft, cuddly kind. It's just as you said, Mr. Gray. Use the chief as bait and reel him in. Move into final positions. Prepare for a clean sweep. Who's ready for a good old fucking chicken neck? Hoedown. Straight, and who's ready to get a boot up their ass Southwest style? How about you, bitch boy? You ready to get get down with the clowns? Oh, come on, bitch, bring that shit. Yo, you having fun, Johnny? Cause I got your back. Mr. Gray, looks like we've got company. Vroom. Take care of it, Silo. Report your positions, people. Talk to me. <laughs> Easy, Silo. He's all yours. So that's it for this issue. For pendulum number three. Stick around for pendulum number four. If you missed number two, you can click here to go watch that now. Otherwise, when four is ready, you can click here. And thank you guys for watching. Swing back, swing back, swing back.